what do you wish may have been different in that realization of or fostering the calligraphy as a business or your practice art form between like being a painter and then moving to that first true I don't think that I wish anything was different okay. I think that um I'm very I'm actually really glad that it happened the way it did because with my calligraphy business and with my experience in art I can merge the two so I don't just do calligraphy. People ask me to do artwork all the time with calligraphy added to it. If I was just you know, focused on the writing part, um, I wouldn't get as much business for other things as well. Um, so I don't think I would change anything. I think it happened exactly the way that it was supposed to happen. Um, I started doing the calligraphy to, um, it's an art form where you have to kind of be very still, kind of in a zone, um, can be a lot of movement around you. It's very concentrated, hard work. And um, like I said, because I am a teacher and I'm around very active people all day long, that was kind of like my way to, you know, get into my own mind and kind of release all of that. That's what I feel like we're lacking is that community, even where the artists are supporting each other, where we're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy, I can't do it. But my friend that I know who does it, you know, she will kill it instead of just saying, you know, instead of not referring business to somebody else because you might be afraid that they're only going to use that person. Um, if we could do that in, in the circle of artists as well as in the circle of people that use the artists' businesses, then I think things would be amazing for everybody. Everybody wins. Everybody, everybody wins. <laughs>